based on the amendment, the, the amendment of the, our U.S. Constitution and the state of North Carolina's Constitution that Congress shall make no law uh, interfering with free religion. And in our, I think it's the 19th in the state, stating pretty much the same, <coughs> wouldn't, the, and based on the fact that marriage was defined in the Bible, predating both constitutions, wouldn't that make it illegal for us to define marriage? And, my, and the flip side of that is based on the Equal Protection Clause and also the preamble of the North Carolina Constitution, wouldn't it be illegal for us to deny rights of a civil union or partnership to couples? Well, the, the easy part of that answer, I think, is that by amending, if, if we are, if, if there is success in amending the Constitution, then the Constitution will say not only what it says in the preamble, but what it would say in this new section of the, of the Constitution. So there would not be a violation of the North Carolina Constitution to do what's being done here because it would be being done to the Constitution. Excuse um, me, just to the first part yeah. of that, but wouldn't there be a contradiction at that point? Uh, the short answer is yes, but um, you know, for better or for worse, laws and constitutions are full of contradictions. Um, but it would, in fact, write it into the Constitution. There, there, there are two, two sort of points that I want to make that I think play off of that uh, that address some of what's been said. What is not in dispute is that the language of the proposed amendment is different than, and I think really any reasonable reading broader than, the language of the statutes, which already clearly outlaw, for lack of a better word, same-sex marriage. 